What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, of course, let's continue our discussion about the Navisworks Manage. So we are now on the Clash Detective tool. So last video, we have learned how to use the or how to explore the results tab in uh, Clash Detective. So this time around, so we are going to learn uh, creating a report. So in this video, we are going to create a report using viewpoints. Okay, so we are going to create a clash report by using viewpoints. All right, so let's do this. So let's go to our home tab. Let's go to our clash detective. And then we are going to... Oh, sorry. So we haven't opened our project. My bad. So that's our project. And then let's go to our clash detective. So we are going to now add a test because as you can see, there's no test yet. So add test. Okay, so let's say, let's continue. So this will going to be our uh, mechanical versus, uh, let's say, our sprinkler. Enter. Okay, and then we have learned that we can specify here the elements or the groups that we want to test so let's say the mechanical on our selection a and then for the selection b that will gonna be our sprinkler so your mechanical and then sprinkler and then i will be using here the surfaces with no clearance and i'll just select here run test just click that one and there you go so we have 35 clashes all right so let me just go to my view tab here and then let me change the background. I don't want a black one. So let me change the color. I'll change that to white. Apply. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. So we now have here on our results tab. So these are now the clashes in our uh, project. Right. So what I'm going to do is uh, we have learned already how to group our clashes. Right. So let's say you want to create a group A for your sprinkler team and then group B for your uh, sprinkler team right so let's say for example for 1 to 20 I'm gonna click clash 1 and then I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm going to select clash 20 okay so I selected clash 1 to 20 and then I'm going to select your group selected clashes to create a group and then let's say I'm gonna change the name of this so this will gonna be for my sprinkler Team A or whatever team that you want to create. There you go. That's for my sprinkler team A. And then let me select, let's say, 21 until 35. So that will going to be for my sprinkler team. Oh, no. Oh, let's say 21 until, until 30. So 21 until 30. There you go, 21 to 30. So let's group this one. So this will going to be for our sprinkler team B. Okay, so sprinkler team B. Enter. All right, so we have two groups. Okay, and then we have learned also from our last video that if you're going to select the group, it will highlight all the clashes, right? And then you can also control it from here from the isolation. Right, so currently dim other is selected, but if I select here hide other, hide other, okay, there you go. It will only show you here all the clashes on that group, uh, sprinkler team A or your sprinkler team B. You can click that. So these are the for that clashes, and then individually we also have this, right? If you are going to select hide other, so by default dim other is selected, so it will show the other elements. Okay, aside from the uh, clash. Right, so after that, the next thing that we're going to do is we are now done with the results. We know already that. So let's now go to the report tab. So here is our report tab. So let's click that one. So here in our report tab, it enables you to set up and write reports containing the details of all the clash results found in the selected test. Right? So as you can see here, so these are the columns or the contents that you can include to your report later on if you are going to create, let's say, for example, a report in XML file. 
in HTML file, in HTML tabular or text. But what we are going to do is I'm going to create a report as viewpoints. So that will going to be the uh, report format, format that I would like in this exercise. So I'm going to select here as viewpoints. So that will going to be for my report format. So it's pretty self-explanatory, right? For the report format, it selects the type of report from the uh, drop-down list. Okay? So you have the XML file, HTML file with clashes listed sequentially, and then HTML tabular. So it creates an HTML tabular file with a clash test displayed as a table. So basically, this kind of report can be opened and edited in Microsoft Excel 2007 onwards. And then the other one here is text. So it creates a text file. And then the one that we have selected now is as viewpoints. So it creates a folder called the test on the save viewpoints. Later on, you will notice automatically the save viewpoints dialog box will gonna be uh, open up when we write the report. Okay, so let's do this. So now I also want to show you here some include clashes uh, for clash groups include here. So what are the options that we have there? So if you're going to click that, so we only have group headers only, and then we also have individual clashes only, and then we also have everything, okay? So you can use this option in this uh, drop-down to specify how to display the clash groups in your report. So when you say group headers only, it reports uh, only or it will include the summaries of clash groups and individual clashes not in groups. Okay, so that is our group headers only. Again, it, uh, the reports will include the summaries of clash groups and individual clashes in groups. Individual clashes not in groups, sorry. So if it is individual clashes only, the second option here, it reports only contain individual clash reports and will not distinguish those reports or results that have been grouped. So basically for each clash that belongs to a group, an extra field called clash group can be added to the report to identify it. So to enable this functionality, you can select the clash group checkbox in the contents area okay so here is our contents area right so you can just select from here uh, the clash group right so the other option here is everything so reports will contain both summaries of clash groups that you have created clash results that are part of each group and individual clash results okay now, we also have option here for include this statuses. So what are the statuses? So it's pretty self-explanatory. So you may want to include all the new clashes, active clashes, reviewed clashes, approved and resolved clashes. Right? So what I'm going to do is um, for the report type here, for the report type, so I'm just going to select the current test. Okay, so current test means it creates a single report for the current test only. So when you say all tests combined, it creates a single report for all tests. The other one is all tests uh, separate. It creates a separate report for each test. Okay, but for me, I'm just going to use here current test and then the report uh, report format is as viewpoints okay and then we also have a checkbox here preserve result highlighting so this is available with viewpoints report only so you will not be able to use that when xml or html so you cannot toggle that on and off by default it's already checked but if you're going to use as viewpoints you can toggle that one on and off okay so after you set now all the necessary contents on your report 
your include clashes option, the statuses, report type, and then as viewpoints, so that is what we want. So we are now going to select here, write report. By the way, the reason why you are seeing here an exclamation point, because I already ran before the, the clash test, okay? So I'm just going to move the slider, and then I'm going to select write report. Click that one, and then automatically Revit will now create this uh, viewpoints. So we now have the mechanical versus sprinkler folder here where the viewpoints of the clashes is saved. So if we're going to expand that, so you can now see here, first of all, the reset uh, appearance. So this is how it looks like. And then the groups that we have here. So we have the sprinkler team A, team B, and then the individual clashes here. So if I'm going to expand the sprinkler team A, so you can now see here the group. So you can click that. And there you go. Okay, so that's for your sprinkler team A and then for sprinkler team B. So that's the one. You click that one and there you go. Okay, of course, you can still use these tools that we have here the nav on the navigation bar. You can use the walk tool. You can use the look. Okay, so you can use these tools. And then aside from the groups, we also have here the individual clashes. Okay, so we have selected here group headers only so meaning reports will include summaries of clash groups and individual clashes not in groups okay so that's why we have this summary of the clash groups and then the individual clashes that is not in group all right so basically that's how you create a report as viewpoints okay so on our next video, so we are going to create a report as an XML file or HTML file. So we are going to uh, explore these options here. Okay. All right. So there you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.